welcome the wonderful Robert Downey Jr. I have to say, I've seen the movie, it's hilarious, yeah. but when I saw your performance, I thought, you, you, can't, you can't do that. Right. <laughs> you know you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do it. Right, right. Um, so, but you did it. But I can't. It's an enigma within a riddle. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, yeah. No, but you play an, an, an Australian. I play an Australian actor who takes himself quite seriously and believes he will uh, best be able to portray the Blake experience. Which is so stupid. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It is. But that's what scary. the whole movie is about: is self-important actors doing stupid things, who eventually have some sort of comeuppance. Do you remember that part in the movie? Yes, yes, there's a comeuppance. I remember the people learn things, and other people do things, and stuff happens, and that's a hell gets of hard. a review you're banging yeah. out. <laughs> It, there's a cow in it. The cow's great, and Jack Black goes over to the cow, and he's yes. like, <gasps> and then, you, and then there's the kid. The kid is scary. Did you see that bit? You're not in that bit, but when the kid comes out, <laughs> that is scary. Yeah. You're actually not in that. Well, you come in for the rescue. I don't know if you saw that. No, but, but I was know. there. Yeah, oh, right. Because, okay. yeah, because I was shooting the movie and then. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. funny how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, anyway? That's a splendid moustache you got going on. Thank you. On. Yeah, I grew a moustache here a couple of weeks ago. People were outraged. <laughs> well, you can't do that. Well, apparently not, but I really can't do that. I mean, it's easier to do what you did and the, 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 me, a late night guy with a moustache. It's yeah. a crime, apparently. Well, it's hard to not have it go the uh, Star 80 porn star route. Like, <laughs> that's where I go. But what I've been getting a lot lately is Super Mario Brothers. Have you ever played Halo 3? <laughs> you don't understand the question either, do you? Thank God for that. I yeah. just got an email. A kid asked me if I'd played the Halo game. I don't play the video games, not even the Super Mario Brothers. Right. That... Well, I mean, strangely, you're kind of busy. Right? Yeah. I mean, you do this show. That's not a lot of work, It'd be really. weird if you were actually getting a lot of Halo time in. But what is Halo time, though? It's, I, is, guess, is I don't it, know. Have you ever played? Do you play the no, video games? No, but I've heard people who are playing it to the exclusion of all other activities, and uh, I have a day job as well. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you, but you used to get involved in other activities, even though you had a day job. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You are just saying. Yeah, I'm just. I'm mentioning. Yeah. I'm mentioning. Yeah. You know, I did too. I did too. You did? Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It yeah. Sounds real dark. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of. Yeah, right. yeah. It was kind of. Man, it was a long time. But ago, look, right? here we are, and either one of us could drive the other one home if we wanted. Now. Yeah, Safely. that's true. Yeah, that's true. Do you know that's why I sometimes think when the world has gone to hell, when I'm suddenly reliable, that's bad. That's bad for the world. Or is it? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I'm sure that your uh, benefactors would be happy that you're responsible. I mean, CBS? It, yeah, CBS. Got it. CBS, right. right. Good call, by the way. Exactly. Came to your, I was came like, came man, pretty quick. what the hell? Are you? Yeah, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. Craig Ferguson's doing a show, but where is he? He's playing Halo in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing Halo in a jail yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good yeah. times. Yeah, good times. Locked up abroad. That's a show. That's a website. <laughs> do you ever do you do you do you ever go on the do you ever go on the computer and obsessively look around for uh, different sites? <laughs> I, I see. I do. I do. You do? I do. I sometimes do. Yeah. Yeah. I Give, see. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Any, that's weird? Is that weird? Do you I think? don't think. It, I mean, I know a lot of people do it. I think it's creepy. Yeah. 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 But I, I, no, I, I quit. I could, you what, quit. I just quit too. I, like I've got about three hours off the computer. <laughs> wow. No, I, uh, I you, when I first got on the, the show, I googled myself a lot. And I was googling to see the information, like what the people were saying. They've not got very nice things to say. While you're googling yourself, people were commenting. Yeah, they, they didn't That's like. That's not the kind of thing you want to put out there because everyone's going to have an opinion on how you do it. Well. 
Well, how do you do it then? Usually in, in private. You're talking about I'm masturbation. I'm talking about you. I'm not talking about masturbation. I'm sorry. Yeah. And we were so on the same wavelength right until that moment. I know. It's, no. This is rare. I mean, yeah, we, no, have, it is. It's we true. have this a spark going between us. Do you ever, mm. and, uh, do you ever think, isn't it show business great because everybody loves each other and they're friendly with each other? Isn't that what makes show business great? Yeah. Uh because -huh. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of big action stars love this, this movie you've just made. They're going yeah, to think, oh, what are these? Young comedians. <laughs> How splendid of them to yeah, poke fun right. at us. Yeah, they've raised the bar and it's real fun and there's enough, there's enough goodwill to go around. Mm. Not really. No, it won't happen. <laughs> won't happen. Are you growing the moustache for a, for a part? Yes, sir. Ah, I just realized you brought because I grew a moustache just for giggles, but you actually, you know, what is the part? I'll be playing uh, Sherlock Holmes. <gasps> Fantastic! Fantastic! Oh, I love that. Who, who's going to be your Watson? I'm not sure yet. May I suggest someone? Would you? Yes. Okay. Don Rickles. <laughs> you know. You did. You suggested it. I suggested I it. Yeah, you can think it over. Let's, I like Rickles. He's funny. I he's love a Don Rickles. He's, he's hilarious. Yeah. And I always think he'd be a good Watson because he'd be kind of like, he'd come back at you, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> we are now on such different wavelengths. Yeah, I don't yeah, even know yeah. how to Do you like the Sherlock Holmes stories? I love them. Love the stories. They're great. It should be fun. It's an action, action adventure Sherlock version Holmes. of it. Yeah. I like that. Because no. you did the Iron Man. I did the Iron Man. Yeah, well done on that. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> did you, uh, you do another one? Do another Iron Man? Yeah, yeah. yeah you should do one. I'm going to do that after Sherlock Holmes. Because you're so busy, you won't have time to have any other activities. Correct. Ah. Uh -huh. You have an idea? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the plan. I love the idea of the Sherlock Holmes. Will it be in London or is it up to date? Or... It'll be uh, in London and we'll be shooting it in the period Guy Ritchie is directing it. Oh, and... the lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. And the That's right. <laughs> you almost said two smoking something else's, didn't you? You're so fast. You could change it up midstream, couldn't you? I, but I don't understand my accent, so what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Amy Smart, just get ready, because he's on fire. Yeah, no. Yeah. Amy's I, coming out, boy. Do you know Amy? She's great. She is great. Yeah. Did you meet her before tonight? Uh, I've seen her around, but I saw her. She had her hair up in curlers before. That she was all, she still looked great. Yeah. And then I saw it start to happen. They started letting her hair down. I was like, that. look at her. Now it's getting better by the second. <laughs> let, me get, let me get straight. You were hanging around her dressing room? With your I, I am a happily married man, and, and yes, I was, uh, I was just stalking her a bit. Yeah, well, a bit. Yeah. In a show business. Like to see how another actor prepares. Yeah, that yeah. kind of like, you know, and also, you know, being who I am, a real actor's actor, I thought, you know, it might bring a little goodwill if I went around and peeped on her for a minute. By, by peeped on her, do you mean... Oh, it said hi. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a communication. I thought, I thought it was. I thought you were something German. I'm sorry. I went to a different place. She peeped on her. <laughs> this no, don't this say is it. a felony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. However hilarious a felony it may be, it's still no. It's uh, outrageous. You mustn't. I mustn't. No, you can't. No, but she's got her curlers in. You can't. No. We call them curlers in the old country. Curlers. Yeah. Okay. Would you call them here? Uh, I call him, it must be strange being backstage about to come on stage and know that we, we're talking about her during our segment. She should be in that Sherlock Holmes movie or two. I was just it's saying a, that. that. That's a great idea. We're she back could, on the same wave. Yeah. Like, it took a minute. She could be like, here, Mr. Holmes, here at right. Toffee was Mr. Holmes. He come in here. And he Jack the Ripper, I think he said his name was. This Mr. is an audition. Yeah, actually. it is. Here, Mr. Holmes. I could play her. I could. Do it. You could. I could. Ian. Mr. Holmes. You could play Amy Smart as Watson and Sh No. No. You no, were no, pushing no, for Rickles, only but really, you, you want to do it. Only you only could I, play so, Amy yes. Smart, playing me, playing a lady <laughs> in colors in Sherlock Holmes. I'm looking forward to it, but we're completely out of time. Congratulations on the movie. It's Thank hilarious you. And, a, and a fantastically wondrous, odd performance. I'll take well it. Done. Thank well you, done. Thank you. Thank Robert you. Robert Downey Jr., everybody. We'll be right back.
my next guest is a giant movie star, bigger than Tom Cruise. <laughs> he wouldn't like me saying that. Actually, he would. Uh, he's in the number one movie in America right now. It's Iron Man. See, that's what I'm talking about. Robert Downey Jr., everybody. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Well, lovely to see you, Robert. Congratulations on the Iron Man. It looks like it might be a hit. Right. <laughs> Any of you seen it yet? <laughs> uh, slight correction. It's not the number one movie in America. It's the number one movie worldwide. <laughs> Self-deprecating as always, Robert. This is my last round. This is actually, this will be the end of my official promotion of the film, and I'm very, very happy to well, be here with you. thank you for putting us right at the top of the list, Robert. You got right here. You knew this is the powerhouse talk show that's going to get you the people into the theaters that you need. And well, I actually want to come here once it was already bona fide hit, so it couldn't attract. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, though, I believe. I haven't seen it. Oh. Yeah. No, I haven't. I mean, no. I saw the first one. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And the Sherlock Holmes. That was awesome. Thank you very much. No, I was... Are you doing another one? Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go shoot uh, Sherlock 2 this fall. Really? Very excited about that. Yeah, yeah. Will you have a moustache? This, no, as I and I remember looking at your highlight reel that I was... Uh, you had a moustache last time Yes, you it was here. horrific. No, it, no, it was nice. I, I liked it. I tried to grow a moustache and it didn't work out nearly as well as yours. Really? Yeah, it just kind of looks like I'd been drinking a Yoo-Hoo or something. <laughs> I'm not a hairy man, Robert, is what I'm saying. Right. Are you hairy? Well, I mean, I take it you shave. It's not like you have no. a condition. No. <laughs> I don't shave. I nair. A little bit of nair. <laughs> That's enough. Do you, do you shave? Did you ever play with Nair by accident? Oh, sure, by accident, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever play with Nair by accident, I'm, Robert? I'm thinking I must have. Yeah. <laughs> to be hairless, like you. No, 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 I, I'm, I'm actually quite hairy, but just in odd places. <laughs> like, not where you would think. <laughs> exactly. Why did I instantly go to that place? Because I think you're probably that quite naughty think. and sexual. Right. Are you a naughty sexual person, do you think? Uh, I'm 45. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've gotten a lot of that out of my system. Aside from this morning. <laughs> Were you practicing some self-massage? <laughs> I don't know why I would reach for the snake <laughs> at that point, but there you go. That, that cobra cup speaks to your virility. Uh, well, or lack of it, maybe. Right. Well, I don't know. That's serpent energy. And speaking of uh, serpent energy, I, I, I qualify this by saying that I was on vacation this very morning with the missus right. up in Napa Valley. Wow. Yeah. How did you get here so quickly? Iron Man power? <laughs> well, uh, we, we flew. Which oh, is, yes, uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Airplanes and stuff. Airplanes, yeah. You know a little something about that. Yeah, I can fly airplanes. I know you can. And by the way, with all this this smack you're talking about, Tom. And by the way, I agree with you. See, see I, I, I completely done a 180. I feel terribly sorry. Do you know him? What? Tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, now I'm working for you. Uh, sorry. Here's what I would say: is I don't have to render apology because I've had Tom's back from jump. And B, <laughs> more disconcerting than anything. Thank you. Bring it. Bring it up to PC. Hold on, hold on. He's here for one night. I'm here every damn night. You be careful. You be careful, I'm trained the, hobos. I'm the novelty. And here's right. what I would say. What? Tom's been a pilot for ages. I know. You're a recent pilot. I know. If anybody should be terrified of anything, it's him terrified of sharing airspace with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. I agree. I, I, you're absolutely right. I completely... I, yeah, me then again, I bet, you're, I bet you're pretty good. Uh, as a pilot? Yes. Still here. You know? <laughs> That's a sign. Have you ever been interested in it? I, I have been interested, and it ended there. Well, why? Do Maybe I'll go up with you. Go with Tom first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody would be happier if you went with Tom first. All right. I he, know he's got nicer planes. Oh, yeah. He's, I've, I've got a little beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I still think, I think that's really ballsy. I love that you do that. Well, go up in the airplanes? Yeah. It's fun. You should try it, really. It's, okay. it's frightening, and it's completely the opposite of show business. 
<laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes. It's like in show business, you live by. What's that coming ago? Right? Yes. In aviation, you. Ooh la la! You're dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Complete opposite. You can't bluff your way through it. Huh. And all this time, I thought it was my. my. that was keeping me going. <laughs> Well, you know, Ooh, we'll revelatory moment for me. <laughs> yeah. No, but not in flying. It's just it's a very rigid discipline. Are you interested in in engineering in any way? Or I do am. you have an analytical mind? Uh, I've been told that I think I do. <laughs> by professionals? Uh, by by the very misses I was unleashing my right. uh, my serpent hey prowess now. on. This morning. I'm glad, I'm glad somebody's clapping. They're applauding your penis. <laughs> Which I, I, rumor tells me, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what, as well, you and I have quite similar pasts. Yes. In the sense of, you know, how we behaved earlier in our lives. And right. I, I thought flying was a, a very interesting uh, direction for the type of mind that I had, a very kind of strange, addictive mind. I was drawn to it. It seemed to make sense to me. Okay. I'm not implying in any way you have an addictive mind, but maybe you do. <laughs> right. I relate to you. I'm watching. I'm, I'm, I'm backstage and I'm watching, you know, the opening monologue stuff. And I feel I don't know you. Right. I'm feeling like, I know that guy. I know him. I'm looking into your, your kind of soulful blue eyes. Not in the way that you would, not in the way that we would be crossing serpents. I'll put it there just in case. Thank you. But right. just in a way where uh, I, I, I feel a kinship with you, strangely. Identification in some way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yet you're Iron Man and I'm Ooh la la. CBS. How did that? Well, I don't know what to tell you, Craig. I mean, the only way is up. That's true. That's true. I, Why do we do this? You have a great life and a great job. I, know, I complain I'm, I'm, about the studios that put all this dough in my pocket. Why do we do it? I think we're trying to make it not sound so awesome so that people will be okay with us. <laughs> What is that, reverse false pride? No, I think it's probably survival, or in fact, maybe even... Ay, caramba! Oh. No, I mean, maybe that's part of the deal, you're just trying to, you know... Okay. Because, like, you, you're saying things aren't so good, but if you were a pilot, for example, and somebody said, are you any good, you'd have to give the honest answer. Right. Like, so when you say to me, I'll go up flying with you, I'm like, mm, go with Tom first. That's the way to go. I have to give you the honest answer. He's probably better than me. I know he is. <laughs> Do you know Tom Cruise? Uh, just a little bit. But do you know what? Do you think that it's true, though, that people attack movie stars for being crazy and then go, wait a minute, of course they're crazy. They have to pretend to be other people all the time. Uh, I don't. I think crazy is relative, and I think that anything, uh, anything I don't understand, I tend to have some uh, disconcerting beliefs about. I don't know. Yeah. All I know is the guy's great, and I've grown up uh, alongside him. He's been a huge influence and a, and, a, and a great supporter of mine. So Really? Yeah. In fact, I'm going to give him this cup. No, no! <laughs> no! My God, you're really, your cup runneth over. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really stuff in here. There, uh, there's a beverage for you right over there, too. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to approach that. This is, this is, this. What, well, I've got a giant man. snake and you've got a tiny little cup? <laughs> what the hell are you, what are you implying? When, when was this water placed here? Uh, I think we put it out first season. <laughs> I trust you. It's perfectly safe. I trust you. I'm going to look no, in your no, eyes. No, absolutely. No, I drink to your health, sir. Uh, good. Drink it all down. Drink it down, Iron Man. Drink it down. How do you feel now, Mr. Bond? <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Hey, do you know who was good in that uh, in that Sherlock Holmes film as well? It was Jude Law. I thought he was good too. He's amazing. He is good. Yeah. He's English, you know. He is English, yes. Yeah, yeah. And Conan Doyle is, well, Scottish. Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alexander. He's dead, though. <laughs> One would imagine so, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It being the 21st century. Yeah, he was, he was quite old when he died. Oh. Do you have a number? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to reveal it, unfortunately. Of course, it's part of his living trust. That's that right. His age of uh, must never be revealed. Must never be revealed. In case people realize he's still alive. Right. Exactly. He's an in the form of Jude Law. 
who is, in fact, fact is. Alexander Conan Doyle, a bit like Doctor Who. He keeps keep regenerating himself. Exactly. I'm know. sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that show. Doctor Who is it a good show? <laughs> What do you mean you don't you don't understand Doctor Who? I mean I've seen the ads for it and I don't know if it's Blues Clues or if it's some Nickelodeon show or if I it's a really really Blues good. Clues. <laughs> That's, good. That's an awesome show. Yeah. Yeah. But which is me? I don't know if it's an awesome show or if it's something else. If you, if you're endorsing it, With then Doctor perhaps Who? it is. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm endorsing it. I used to watch it when I was a kid, but this new Doctor Who thing I know nothing about. All the kids are going crazy for I it. I hear though. it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I think the actors meant to be good. Uh, not as good as you, obviously, but because um, everything's a competition. Yes. Yeah. It is. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. Except daytime TV. Right. Because then it's Oprah and she's oh. the Kraken. <laughs> but friendly, the friendly Kraken. That was an episode of Bruce Clues, didn't you see it? No. It's on. It's on and Kraken. It's on and Kraken. Right. Between the two of us, mm. there could be there could be a non sequitur competition, <laughs> like hitting okay. into left field from the stands back to left field. You and I on the road would be something else. We in, might we, we in might go, we, yeah we might get no laughs, but we'd love it. I think I think we'd get laughs from people who were crazy, but in a different way. <laughs> See how he tied it all together. Tied it all together there. That's the sign of a brilliant together. mind. Yeah, tied it all together. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're running out of time now, Robert. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, we can hang about a bit more if you want. Okay. All right. You want to do an awkward pause with me? We do sometimes do them. You're a very good actor. You're probably okay, good at this. You want to do an awkward pause? Yeah, but what just happened that created the pause? Oh, no, no, no. We, this, we're not method actors We just here. cut right to you the are, actor. Straight okay, to here we go. Do you, do you need some motivation for the pause? Why start now? <laughs> He's Iron Man. That's why he's Iron Man. All right. Put that up there. Oh, that's interesting. Arthur it? Conan Doyle died 1930. 71 years old he was. <laughs> You're probably wondering, how do they know that? Because <laughs> we are crazy, but in a different way. see this film it's sort of like you know with Jaws when you go swimming in the ocean now you think oh my god I, am I gonna be eaten by Jaws it's right. that thing where you look in the mirror and you think what if something happened the shark the shark wasn't really called Jaws <laughs> I have a real problem with this because people say oh, I'm gonna be eaten by Jaws the shark didn't have a name it was just a shark the movie's shark? called Jaws yeah it's just a shark you know like what shark is that is that Bob or Jaws no <laughs> It's, Jaws is not the name of the show, it's the name of the movie. Sorry, I had to, I couldn't let that one you know, go by. I'm glad you didn't let it go yeah, by. I could not let it go by. I never gave it a thought. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>